Camry Theater is a very important, the most important theater in Israel. And what we designed here is a, a center with five halls inside from very small a cafe theater, which you can see this white Corbusian element, that, that's the cafe theater there, and up to a 930 seats theater, which, which has a fantastic stage. The Camry Theater is directly adjacent to the Tel Aviv Opera, shown here. Rector's own father, Yaakov, was the opera building's architect. How did this family connection influence Rector's design of the Camry Theater? One of the most important things for me were, were to try to, in one way, marry two buildings, which are also a building by my father. So it, it has all the, let's say, the family and the, the, I mean, the professional and the family issues, which are very complex. What I did basically was, the one great gesture was to take the glass facade, strip it from these the uh, elements and, and just continue it until, until it rolls and, and finishes with this, let, let's say, Corbusian element, which is a round and different in shape, which closes the composition, let's say. And tell us about the context of the building site. We don't have any, any uh, magnificent view or, uh, or dramatic, uh, dramatic urban situation. On, on one hand. On the other hand, we don't have any urban uh, context to relate to. So we have to create our own context in one hand, but, uh, but we want to kind of blend within the horizontality and the human scale of Tel Aviv, and not to create a very uh, monument monumental project that would stand out and become uh, a kind of a giant within, within, the, within the structure of the city. So the idea was, first of all, to create an internal space, create a small, uh, intimate space, and at the same time, create a barrier from the main, very busy, very noisy street, which doesn't, doesn't include it. We doesn't want to include us, and we don't want to include it. We, we, want to, we actually want to shine away from it and thus create a more, I would say, processional um, celebrational entrance to the space. Tell us briefly about the history of the Camry Theater. The Camry Theater came after 1948 <clears throat> with young Israeli, Israeli-born actors who wanted to basically to promote and to celebrate the Hebrew language in, a, in its most uh, local way. And what was your strategy to reflect the Camry's local focus in your design? To try to find a, an architectural language that would be much more of Tel Aviv and of the how I see the life here and the, uh, living here. So the choice was to go for uh, uh, what is called the truth of the material. The building itself doesn't have any coating element. It doesn't, ha it doesn't need makeup. The, the theater has makeup, the actors have makeup. The building itself tries to, to talk with, with, the, with the time of the 50s where the Camry was formed, which was uh, a, a point in, in art and in architecture of the brutalism and so on, which obviously comes from the word brut, French, which is exposed. So there, the idea was to, to try to connect to this period in architecture, which you will see in a minute inside. We have this forest uh, of piloti. This is, of course, structural. There's nothing is uh, decorative here. It's all made from metal, which is rusty. I let, of course, because, because this is the nature of the metal to rust. We talked about before about the truth of the material. So we use, you know, we use exposed concrete and we use natural, natural aluminum. In Shakespeare, it's always this, the forest is always the place of dreams. Uh, is always the place of, of the erotic and the, the, the place that the man cannot control, so to speak. So the idea is that people go through, through this forest and they go into the space, which is the place of dreams, which is the, obviously the theater itself. So the whole space is treated like a kind of a plaza or piazza okay. of two, let's say, Tel Aviv Bauhaus buildings, which just the facades were left behind. What were some of the projects, if any, that you were looking at before for inspiration? Or... Well, Essen, the Alto, the Alto Opera. Uh, I love Alto. Alto is my favorite architect. I looked a lot at uh, some of the brutalist architecture that was done in the 60s in Israel and in abroad, like the Smithsons, for instance, in, uh, in London and uh, some of the uh, uh, civic centers that were done uh, in America. But I, I, know, I know, I didn't have to look specifically. It's not like when you know, you're doing a PhD, so you have to research a certain thing. I live with, with architecture of theaters 
almost all my life because my mother is a great theater actress. She was one of the people who actually founded the Camry Theater. So I'm kind of born on stage in a way because, I mean, she's nine months pregnant with me on stage and I know actors very well. I love actors. One way this love of actors manifests itself in the design is a generously proportioned green room where cast members can rest and socialize. There's another gift from Rector for actors as well. Presence of the time is important, I think, for, for actors. So that's why there is this skylight. Perhaps surprisingly, one of Rector's favorite design details of the project is actually found in the carpeting. I, I designed uh, hieroglyphics that are based on my sketches that, that tell the story of the building of, of the building. And the design purpose of this bridge-like element that Rector created? Creates a kind of a fourth, a fourth facade and mainly a, an idea gate to something else. But it also is, it was important to me to, to finish the, you know, the fourth mm -hmm. part of the, of, the, of the plaza, of the piazza, but without closing it, of course, because the movement of, of people around.